doesn't like, make it okay. Hey, hey like the from a from a business standpoint, I agree with you. You know, Mike T, like they're making the decision based on money and the financials. And when Daniel says this is the deal that we signed or we offered Russell Wilson, it's not the deal that we or us did because Sean Payton wasn't there. True. Right. Right. True. And so the business of it is not a problem to me. But let's be honest. Sean Payton has behaved as a thug since he became the coach of the Denver Broncos. Immediately when he gets in the building, he starts to undercut Russell Wilson personally and professionally from his first press conference on. He tells Russell Wilson, you have to stop kissing babies, stop behaving as if you're running for office. Nobody kissed more babies in New Orleans than Drew Brees. Mm. Period, point blank. From the beginning, he walked into this building and he had a point to prove when it came to Russell Wilson. You're going to be just like everybody else. I'm going to treat you just like I treat everyone else on the team. That's not the way it works with franchise quarterbacks. Right? With a franchise quarterback, he's talked to differently. There are conversations instead of being talked at. You don't berate them on the sideline against the Detroit Lions because you don't agree with their play. We watched Sean Payton in New Orleans for a decade and a half never treat his quarterback this way. And so now as you move through and you hear about the phone call, you hear about talking to his representatives, about starting, about restructuring or doing whatever they wanted him to do to the contract, this was just a means to an end for Sean Payton. This was going to happen at some point. See, and I, it I, just and it I, just happened toward the end of the... I, I don't think... I don't believe there was a thing Russell Wilson could do to make Sean Payton I like him. I, I think from a personality standpoint, Can it I was a bad match. I think schematically, it was a bad match. But my point is this. Yeah. My point is this. Let's hold Sean Payton to some sort of professional accountability. He, His behavior he, as the head coach of the Denver Broncos is unacceptable. If I'm the Walton family, I do not want somebody representing me this way. And I want to say this about Russell Wilson, because Russell Wilson takes a hell of a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. The humility that Russell Wilson has shown, the professionalism that Russell Wilson has shown inside of that building, while be, being treated that way by that man, all I got to say to Sean Payton is you lucky you had the right one. Mm -hmm. I, I